Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on iterative methods. It's going to be a couple of videos on this topic. In the first one here, we're going to look at a skill called trial and improvement. So we've got this example. We have to use trial and improvement to show that x cubed plus 6x equals 4 has a solution between 0 and 1. And we have to give this solution to one decimal place. So what this means is that there's going to be some value of x uh, between 0 and 1, where x cubed plus 6x is actually equal to 4 and we have to give this solution to one decimal place. So what we're going to start off with doing is drawing a table, the values of x, uh, and then the value of x cubed plus 6x, and then we're just going to make some sort of comment on it uh, afterwards. Uh, so let's start off with uh, actually trying the value of 1 itself, and so we're going to plug this value of 1 into the formula x cubed plus 6x. Uh, so we don't actually need to do a calculator uh, when x is 1, it's pretty simple x cubed is still going to be 1 plus 6 times 1, uh, so that's 1 plus 6, so that's going to be equal to 7. And uh, we want to show that this is equal to 4, so this is obviously equal to 7, uh, so this is too big. Uh, so let's say that this is the comments section. Uh, so next, let's try the value of 0. So 0 cubed is still 0, plus 6 times 0 is still going to be equal to 0. So zero is obviously too small, uh, but really we knew that already. Uh, so now let's try a value of 0 0.5. So now we're going to use a calculator at this point because it's going to start getting complicated. So we're going to do 0 0.5 and then we're going to uh, cube this. And then we're going to add 6 times 0 0.5. This is going to give us a value of 3.125. So 3.1, whoops. 3.125 uh, and that is too small again. So uh, this is why it's called trial and improvement because you just keep trying answers and you get closer each time so you improve on your answer. So next let's try 0 0.7. So if we swap 0 0.5 for 0 0.7 in this calculator, we're gonna get 4.543 now. So 4.543, now that's too large because we're aiming to get 4. Uh, so next we'll try a value of 0 0.6. So we're getting closer and closer each time. So we've got 0 0.6 cubed plus 6 times 0 0.6. That's going to give us 3.816. So 3.816 and that is too small. Now at this point we've got a solution of 0 0.7 which is too large and a solution of 0 0.6 which is too small. So what we're going to do next, uh, because this is either side of our value that we want which is 4 and these are both to one decimal place, we're going to try a value to two decimal places of 0 0.65. So we're just going to replace 0 0.6 with 0 0.65 in this calculator here. So we're going to get a value of 4.174625 or 4.175. So 4.175, and what's the uh, comment here? Well, this is going to be too big. So at this point, we can establish that the solution is going to be closer to 0 0.6, uh, because 0 0.65 gives us an answer which is too big, and this is halfway between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. So our solution is going to be 0 0.6 to one decimal place. It can take a bit of practice to get good at this topic, so why not have a go at our online exam? This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out where you're going wrong, uh, so you can improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.